Well guys, uh, I told you I'd make another video of a uh, demo for that uh, the timers project that we're doing. Uh, except the only problem is, is one of my wonderful sweet children has taken one of my, uh, at least my microphone that I use to record my uh, online videos with. So, uh, audio quality next time might be kind of crummy. So, uh, I was going to post another video before this one of code corrections. There's a couple things that I missed in the code on the on the videos last time for the timers. So, um, I will go ahead and post the um, code in in the download you know section on that one link that I have on my channel. If you see my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but where you can download the code and see it and everything, and uh, it'll have the changes already in it. Um, I'll hopefully try to make a movie uh, that shows you the changes uh, next and once I find the uh, the microphone uh, once I find that so um, anyway let's get going here what we got is we got our two LEDs okay got our two 470 uh, ohm resistors hooked up to uh, uh, C0 and C1 here's our mem clear going up to, to the top here here's our 0.1 uh, microfarad cap our voltage regulator, this is the 5 volts coming out of the voltage regulator. And then we've also got our two decoupling capacitors uh, that are on the voltage regulator. So um, let's go ahead and plug it in and we should, I, I also added a uh, kind of like power on test, basically these will stay lit for 5 seconds, both of them, and then they'll start alternating every 4 seconds. So let's go ahead and power it up. So there's both LEDs, hooray! Now we should have 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. Bloop, and it clicks over. And then that'll stay on for 4 seconds and then go back. And it's fairly precise since we played with the prescalers and whatnot to get the precision up. Um, you can play with those even, I think to even get them down to, if you prescale by 2, you can get it to uh, even closer to a second. But that's that's basically our timers demo, so, so there it is. There it is working. And um, I will... Uh, I will then take and uh, post the code now, and also I'll uh, I'll see if I can't make a video that shows you some of the changes uh, since the last video, um, how to how to make the changes to get this to work. So there's a couple of things like there's a there's an option I forgot about for setting the uh, these two ports in particular were um, apart. They also were dual function pins. They worked for the analog digital converter. So you have to, by default, the analog digital converter sets all of its pins to uh, analog mode. So if you want to use them for GPIO like this as a digital output or input, you have to actually go into the analog select register, so ANSEL, analog select register, and set them all to zero, which makes them all digital. Um, so you have to do that. And uh, I'll, I have that all in the code and everything so um, I'll be posting that but I'll try to hopefully do a video so that way you guys can see it so here it is working told you I'd do it so there it is and uh, look for the next one we'll be doing uh, another video on real-time clocks so we'll be doing RTC's next so I'll show you how to do days weeks months years and all that fun stuff uh, with with all the timers and stuff that we're doing so see you next time